Formula 1 season of 2022, Ferrari is finally back as a top tier team again. I think we're all happy about this as a Formula 1 community. And I must say, I'm not a huge Ferrari fan, but however, I am a huge Charles Leclerc fan. I think it's a really interesting driver. And I collect some stuff of Charles Leclerc. I have his helmet, uh, 2018 car. So the thing with Charles Leclerc is from 2018, he looked already as a promising driver to me. Some people even followed him in Formula 2. I didn't do that uh, because Formula 2 wasn't really popular back in the day as it is now because there's a lot more coverage of their highlights and whatever. I can't wait to open this box. So yeah, let's just crank it open, shall we? I must say, right from the get-go, uh, this box feels substantially heavier than uh, all my Spark models when they came in the mail. So yeah, we're going to open up, see what it all comes with. Although there isn't really much on the box, I think you will recognize immediately which teams this belongs to. Top of the box, we have on the right top corner a Ferrari logo. The left down corner, we have the LookSmart logo. And pretty much that's it from the top of the box. All right, let's flip this over very carefully to the side. I'm not really sure which languages these are. I think it's Italian, French, German, and Spanish. It basically says not for kids under 14 years old. Bottom of the box, look smart models, PO box. You can send them a message if you want to. Official licensed product by Ferrari. And this is the version of Scuderia Ferrari SF21 number 16, Bahrain GP of 2021. Number 16 meaning Charles Leclerc. All right, so that's basically it for the box. No real picture of the car whatsoever. Kind of interesting approach, but let's just open it and see what's inside, shall we? Interesting choice of packaging, but I think it's looking really premium so far. So front of the box opens up like this and we see absolutely nothing. All right, let's take it out of the packaging, shall we? This feels so expensive. Nice box though, very interesting box design. Never seen anything like it. All right, there we have it. Let's keep my composure and unbox it a little bit further. So it comes in this beautiful, beautiful case. Wow, that is amazing. All right, let's open the box. The box in the box, shall we? Ooh, that feels heavy. Just like Spark, we have a little bit of styrofoam underneath the front wing. Oh, just like Spark, we also have two foam blocks on the back. My first impressions are amazing. Look at this model. The Ferrari livery seems so simple, but yet it's so striking. And especially this year, because they have this really beautiful gradient to a more Bordeauxish red, which I really like. And I really prefer uh, the color they have on the car this year in 2022, which is Bordeaux red with uh, black in there. I do find some uh, similarities to the Spark brand, but we'll get to that bit a little bit later. So just like we always do, let's start from the front and work our way back, shall we? When I look at this model, I think the front wing is really big and I don't know if this is an optical illusion or anything, but it for certainty look more bigger than on my Spark models. We have not very many sponsors, it's just basically red with only the V Power logo by Shell. The nose has a really intrigued design which I haven't seen before. It takes some inspiration from the 2020 cars which they had really bulky noses. But in 2021 we saw a change of noses with a very bulky design to a very slim design at the front which uh, Ferrari adapted for 50%. But then we have some logos on the nose as well. Of course, we have the Italian flag with the Ferrari uh, logo. Other sponsors as well. We have Male, Pirelli, Casper Sky, of course, the Shell logo and number 16. The Ferrari looked really aggressive in 2021 with a lot of shark fins and whatever and some winglets design, especially in our nose too. We see some very aerodynamic parts, which are very interesting to see. Suspension looking nice and bulky as well. It's just like the other cars and they also have a carbon fiber texture Which is also nice to see we have lots of antennas right here And like I said, these things are very very sturdy. They won't break on you guaranteed Then we have a 360 camera brand which I'm not really sure what or who it belongs to which is Wai Chai I'm not really sure if I pronounce it right pretty sure that's a Japanese or Chinese brand and wow The sideboard area is looking really clean. No helicopter tape, which we saw with the other model cars we had when picking up this model, I noticed a significant rattle. I don't know if the microphone picks that up. Uh, it seems to me like there's a screw loose or something, but I don't see anything falling off or falling out. Halo looking really nice. Carbon fiber textures as well. Nice looking steering wheel. We have Leclerc on there, Ferrari logos and number 16. Tires looking really nice. We also have a texture, the rubber 2. 
they, uh, they sanded down the rubber a bit to make it look like it actually raced. But yeah, I think the red tire on here looks very, very nice. Suits with the car perfectly. Side of the car, we have some more logos. Uh, Shell, UPS and Ray-Ban. Underneath there, we have some more logos. We have Fista Jet, SKF, Morelli, NGK, Rembo, Xperus and Plantier. The shark fin we have number 16 and during some races of the 2021 season the Ferrari had this really weird looking mission winner logo which it was green and didn't suit the car at all. I'm glad they didn't include this here. You may be looking at this model and you think wow this model is just incorrect. Well not technically because the car as is right here raced like this in a lot of races. Hungary, Great Britain and some more but those are on the top of my head which they didn't have the mission winner branding because it basically was forbidden. But I'm glad they didn't include the ugly green logo right there on the top of the shark fin. Then we get to the rear wing and on the DRS flap normally should be mission win now but again they removed it for this version. Then we get to the back of the car which has a really nice exhaust system. This time we don't see the two little exhaust pipes at the sides which is also a really interesting philosophy of Ferrari. That's basically everything about the car, the car itself. But then again, uh, this is a LookSmart version and LookSmart comes in this beautiful base. And I really like bases with my motor cars. I think it adds a little bit more touch to the motor car instead of only the car. Beautiful looking display piece right here made of wood and a little bit of a velvet material. And then again, we get this beautiful case with it as well. Don't want to leave fingerprints on it. And it just fits over this thing beautifully. Also comes with uh, a little plaque as well, uh, which basically have the Ferrari Lowe's at the left top corner. Uh, we have the badge of the SF21 Bahrain GP 2021 uh, Charles Leclerc. And of course by LookSmart. Of course the Ferrari of the Formula One 2022 season is one of the most beautiful Formula One cars we have ever seen. I think the Formula One 2021 Ferrari without the Mission Winnow decals is a true true beauty as well so all right let's put the lid back on but yeah that's basically your ferrari and i mean <laughs> look at this model man so i think you may notice that i really like this model car i really like a ferrari i'm not a huge ferrari guy but like i said the 2021 and 2022 ferrari cars are very nice Especially Ferrari in 2022 does really well. That's basically my review of the Luke Smart SF21 Ferrari and the driver Charles Leclerc. I really hope you like this review and I hope to see you in the next review as well. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with the channel. And I hope to see you in the next video as well. So uh, thank you very much.